Hi, this is Josh, and today I'm going to talk about static rope. Years ago, static rope was the only rope that we used in climbing. Static rope means that the rope is not going to elongate, it's not going to stretch, and it's not going to absorb any impact, unlike the dynamic rope. Static rope ranges in size from 2 millimeters up to 11 millimeters, and ranges in uses everything from hauling stuff up a, up a climb with you to repelling. The great thing about static rope is you're not wasting any energy. Whether you're hauling something up a climb, you would not want a rope that's going to stretch on you. You want to pull that, that item up as quick as possible. The same thing is true when rappelling. You can rappel more safely and quickly down a static rope because there's no stretch in the rope. Static rope is more durable than dynamic rope. You don't have to worry about whether or not the rope can continue to take a fall. Static rope is usually used under weight already, so you're not taking falls on static rope. Static rope is not to be used in situations where you may be falling. When choosing static ro rope, the variety of uses is great. If you're using a static rope with other equipment, carabiners, harnesses, for rappelling, you want a static rope that's at least 9, 10, or 11 millimeters. If you're using a static rope primarily for gear or cordelette, you can get by with anything from four to seven millimeters. Before choosing a rope, make sure that you do your research. Go to your local retailer and they'll help you find the right rope that's perfect for your adventure.